Oh, bright and early. It's actually happening right now. I don't even know if you guys can hear this, but there are a lot of cheers happening behind me. Even though there's not people here yet, they must be on their way down the South Oval. I talked to some students today who said they're actually already setting their alarm clocks for 3 a.m. Others say that they're going to spend the night here on the South Oval to make sure they get a front row seat to this. I want you to take a look. Here's the setup of college game day where students are scouting out the best spot all day long today so they can start their SEC chance bright and early. I'm going to be starting chance and we're going to we're going to be at it. We're going to be we're going to make sure that the Sooners dominate their first SEC game. The energy in Norman growing ahead of OU's first conference football game as members of the SEC from fans excitement. I'm just excited. There's like nothing like the energy of game days in the palace, but especially our first game in the SEC. I think it's going to be unmatched crazy, so I'm excited to the college game day setup. Sooner fans say they're ready to see what a new era holds. Reese Davis with ESPN's College Game Day says this is the time for OU to set the standard for the rest of the season. Before, it's just been a patch on a jersey. You know, Oklahoma's had the patch on the jersey and the logos around that say SEC, and it says SEC for, you know, a few months now. And he expects the fans to be louder than ever. I think they're going to be really revved up. I think uh, a lot of times when you have the tradition that uh, Oklahoma has, the fan base is always good, but there's also the, hey, Hey, we're Oklahoma, entertain me, cover the spread, win the game, score a lot of points. And we coming up tonight at six, we talk to even more fans about the excitement, about the change here in Norman, and of course about college game day. Davis says that this set might be full of orange. They also might be seeing a lot of Tennessee orange here in Norman, but he has high expectations for OU and OU fans. Reporting live in Norman, Elise Jones, KOCO 5 News. At least I have no doubt there will be a lot of crimson out there. At least really quickly while you're you're there for those of us who like to watch college game day Saturday mornings, we always see the signs and they get pretty creative. The signs behind the whole setup and the desk. Have you seen any signs and some of them aren't aren't appropriate for television, but have you seen any that you can share <laughs> with us? Yes, absolutely. They actually hosted a sign making party at the bottom of the stadium for students and fans to come by today. We saw some that said cue the volunteers because they're hoping Tennessee goes home crying. We saw some that said Rocky flop instead of Rocky top. There were just so many. I'm sure there's going to be hundreds of signs out here on the South Oval tomorrow, Abby.